Hey everyone, Omegonix here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So I just want to say first off that on my second channel I've actually started uploading videos again. That's right guys, I'm uploading commentary like videos over there. So if you want to go check them out then be sure to have made two over there already. And I've unlisted all my other videos that I had on my second channel as well. So they're not privatized or anything but if you have the links to them then you can watch my old second channel videos and stuff. And uh, yeah, so be sure to go check them out, subscribe to that channel if you haven't already, and let's get right into this Halo 5 Forge creation review. So hey everyone, I'm going to here, welcome back. So I had a, another Forge creation planned for today, but I was just checking my bookmarks, and I never check my Forge bookmarks, right? Well, I found this thing called the Flyable Guardian that I apparently bookmarked and liked as well. And I must have wanted to do a, a review on it, but because I didn't save it and I didn't know how to check my bookmarks at the time, I guess I just wasn't able to get it. But yeah, unless it is something I have reviewed before, but I just forget. Because I do actually remember um, uh, reviewing a massive Guardian in the past, a Halo 5 Forge creation of a Guardian. I remember once reviewing one, but and it must have been this one, but I never knew it was flyable. Unless it is a different thing, but I don't know. We'll take a look at it and see if I can remember it and see if it is that exact one. And yeah, so how about we just get it out right now. The reason to why I'm going up so high is because this thing is so big. So we'll go edit search, forge bookmarks, search. We've got this one here called drone flyable. I might have to check this one out as well. But let's go flyable guardian. Couldn't place it. Um, Maybe down here. We might have to go on a different map if it doesn't actually work here. So let's go forge bookmarks again. Drop prefab. Where is there enough physical space to place this? Like seriously. There's no physical space. Maybe maybe over here. I think over here should be good. This should be big enough. Oops, not flood one pelican. I did a review of that in my last Halo 5 Forge creation review. If you guys want to check that out, it's pretty good. It says there's four results, but there's only two. Drop prefab. Can't place it. What do you mean? So apparently there's literally no space to be able to place this on this map. So what I'm actually going to do, guys, is I'm going to go on a t to a different map. And I'm going to try place it there. So let's try to do that. Alright, so if there's one map that I know will work, it's got to be Tidal. Tidal's got to work. So let's go through for free industries. And we'll just try to find the map Tidal. Because that's usually one that I go on a lot. Although, I do have my own one where it's, like, empty. Because Tidal, the Free for Free Industries version, as we all know, just like all the maps, it comes with, like, objects and stuff in the middle of the map. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. You guys already know what I mean anyway. But, yeah, just for those people who don't know. And then we'll try to spawn this Guardian in. Because I just want to get to reviewing it. I'm sorry that this is such a hassle, guys. But, yeah. It's just a pretty big object, I guess. And I don't think I've reviewed it before, either. Because I don't remember ever having this much hassles with spawning in a Guardian before when I last reviewed it. So I think this might be a different one, a different styled one. Alright, so here we are in the map and this is what I was talking about before, all this stuff just spawns in. But this should be enough room for us, it really should be. Just look at how big this map is. Alright, so let's go into our prefabs again. And we will now finally spawn it back in. So, I mean not spawn it back in, sorry, spawn it in. Because we never actually even spawned it anyway. Let's go drop prefab and there it is okay that's actually not as big as i thought it would be but apparently this is drivable so that's very interesting now i feel like i have reviewed this before maybe unless that was a different one because i don't know this actually does look very resemblant to the guardian though so yeah it's actually very good looking i like this prefab looks like a very nice guardian it is made out of I don't know how many objects, because there's all these objects here, but if we'll, to minus all that, there'd be probably just over 180 objects in this. So, that's actually quite a bit, not as much as I thought. I thought there would have been probably a few hundred, but no. So yeah, probably about over 180 objects in this, or something like that. Probably even just a bit under that, or just about 180. And I actually really like it. So anyways... How about now we actually try fly it? So it says to, in order to fly it, you have to set it to uh, normal properties. So that means in like here, you would go to um, phase and set it to normal. I'm pretty sure. But then that just makes it do that. So that's kind of stupid. 
Say now it's all destroyed. What do you mean? Maybe we just need to have it like on a ground. We'll try to do that. So what we'll do now is we'll actually set up a ground for it so then we can actually like fly it. Because I really want to try actually fly this thing. Because if it's actually flyable then I want to see. Alright, so I'm making a big enough ground for it to try and get it to fly for me. So hopefully it does work. There we go, just doubled that there. What we'll try to do now is we'll try to spawn it, if, and if it's not big enough and I don't think it will fit, we'll just extend it a bit more and we'll just keep uh, the object in phase. Forge, search, liable guardian. There we go, hopefully it works. Where is it? Is this it spawning in here? It is, isn't it? That's meant to be it spawning in over there. You've got to be kidding me. You've actually got to be kidding me. So it's too big to even spawn up there as well, yet it turned out to try spawn itself and now it's failed. How stupid is that? Alright, let's just spawn it over here then. Oh man. This is actually one of the most difficult forge objects I've ever had to deal with before. I've never actually had to deal with them this bad. There we go. Finally. And look, now I've got two of them. We have two of them, people. Two of them. So how about we just delete... What? Now... It just made... Okay, now I'm actually really confused. It just made me delete both guardians for some reason. When I switched out of forge mode into spartan mode, and then... For some reason, it's like it still had them selected or something. I don't know, but look, guys, I'm so sorry about this. This is just so difficult. Ugh. Edit search. Forge bookmarks. Search. Flyable Guardian. Please do... Could not freaking place it. This is so difficult. This is probably, yeah, the most difficult forge object I've ever had to do with. Ugh. Drop prefab. There. There we go. Alrighty, so now that we've got this, let's actually check how it fits in with the floor. So, I feel like we might need a bit more floor space unless we just move it a bit down here. So then when it falls, it'll probably fall on its back so then it has some back room. Um, I'd say this is lining up quite well. And, uh, yeah. You know what, let's actually, um, actually, no, let's just leave it a bit there. Yeah, there we go. You know what, let's see if this works, and if it doesn't, then we'll just do it again. Because, you know, why not? Come on, deselect it. There we go. I've been having some trouble with this. Oh. It's going to fall over. I want to grab him. There we go, got him. So apparently this is flyable, as you can all see, and um, I think we're gonna, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to quickly jump on the head, and then fly it like that. Now, I'm not sure if the camera's... Oh, good, the camera distance is out 5.0, so that's good. Okay, so, um, uh, where's this? Where am I able to drive it? Nope, pick it up. I want to know where I'm able to drive this thing. Because I thought it would have been at the head, but turns out probably not. Oh my god, this is... Like, don't get me wrong, it's a really nice forge creation, and I love it and all. And oh my god! And my game crashed. Um, my game crashed. Because of all of them forge objects, my game crashed. You've got to be kidding me. Alright guys, so I'm sorry, there's going to be a bit of a just black screen here. You know what, I'll just have some gameplay of like Wolfenstein or something playing whilst we wait for the game to load up. But first I just want to like express my frustration. This is honestly one of the most frustrating forge objects I've ever, ever had to deal with. Like, honestly, like, I had a completely different Forge creation planned for today. In fact, I think I was going to take a look at some drivable Halo Combat Evolved Pelicans in Halo 5 or something like that. Yeah, that's what it was. Halo Combat Evolved Pelicans in Halo 5, but no. I find this object and I want to take a look at it. And, um, no. I can't do that. Oh, damn it. Alright, let's try again. So I'm going to start the recording back up and uh, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing right here. I'm moving up the most liked in my files. You should be able to if I do end up editing that in. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry, I just had to check my audio. It wasn't working all well there. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go on to, I think, I forget which title map it is, 
that I actually have as an empty map. Because I actually have my own title map, which I have as an empty map. Let's hope that this isn't some forge map I'm making. Alright, so it turns out that this here is the uh, forge map with all the emptiness. So there's literally just two objects in this map. Literally only two objects. And I think I know where they are. They're like floors under the water or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think I've used this map for other forge creation reviews and stuff as well. So now it's going to be used for this one. So hopefully... Um, oh my god, no. Sorry, I keep on pressing X. I hate pressing X. So sorry. Because I feel like that's the one to go onto the file options, but it's not. It's Y. That's why I keep on doing it. Alright, Flyable Guardian. Please let me drop it in. And yes, I'm able to. Good. So we'll just deselect it. It's in phase, so it should be alright. And now what we'll do is we'll literally place flooring almost everywhere, basically. So yeah, let's do that. What we'll do is we'll get some flooring and we'll literally just place it almost everywhere here because I do not trust this thing. It's too massive to be able to even look after its own self. So yeah, there needs to be bigger floorboards, by the way, free for free if you're able to do that. Alright, so we're doing well, making some progress. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to put this entire thing in flooring, you know what I mean? It's not like the entire thing's just going to be placed in. It's um, just going to be some of it. Just enough to be able to fit this big guy right here, because he's massive, you know, and he needs a lot of room. Flyable Guardian, made by River Envelope 10. Well, good job on the creation, it's actually really nice. But still, though, it pisses me off, man. Like, seriously. It's too big. Just way too big. Alright, I feel like that that's actually enough uh, space for it to fall onto. So, nice. Now, all we need to do is... We'll lift it up a bit. Why is it acting funny? I feel like it's acting funny. I don't know. I feel like it's acting funny. Better not be spawning another one in. And by the way, I was right before. It did have about 180 objects or so. In fact, um, it has actually around 160, I think. Because there is about... So, four... 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 things over here, so that would mean there's 160 objects in this cell. It's pretty close, only about 20 objects away, but yeah. Alright, there we go. It's on its um, side, as you can all see. But yeah, um, let's not put it onto its side yet, because I want to actually see where this wasp is, where we can fly it. So there's a phantom here, we can all see that. Um, there's another phantom below it, so the wasp is not in here. Oh, that's actually cool, you can actually come inside of here. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Remember that Halo 5 mission where you have to, like, run down a guardian? This definitely isn't as big as one of them, though. Not as big as a real one. Alright, but, um, where is this wasp? Is it in the chest somewhere or anything at the back? Um, because I'm not sure where it is, really. Unless it's like on top of here. There it is, I found it. I actually found the wasp. It's invisible. But yeah. So what I'll do now is I'm going to set this thing to normal. Let's try it. Now let's try to find this. Pilot wasp and boom. Oh my god. I've done it. I've actually done it. I have. I am now flying a guardian. How cool is this? Alright guys, so as you can all see, I am flying a guardian. Pretty neat. Not gonna lie. And, uh, yeah. I mean, just look at this. Flying a guardian right here. We can even go a bit higher as well. But yeah, I mean, just... Finally, we got to do it guys. We got to fly a guardian. How cool is that? But yeah, so we can actually like, fly it around and stuff We can't like make it turn, but at least we can just fly it. It's pretty neat In fact, I might even take a screenshot of this later for a thumbnail because yeah, pretty neat not gonna lie Sorry if I've said neat a lot and sorry if I do <clears throat> Repeat myself a lot in my videos. It's just that you know, I want to try get my point across with some things
But yeah, so anyways guys, that's the end of this uh, Halo 5 Forge creation review. Sorry about all the hustling. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. It's a lot longer than my other Halo 5 Forge creation reviews due to me having a lot of difficulties this one. But it was pretty fun nevertheless, and it was fun to finally get to be able to fly this thing which I'm flying right now, the Guardian. So yeah guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to share it around with your friends and stuff. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. Go check out my second channel as well. Like I said, I've started uploading on there again. And yeah, I'll see you all soon in my next one. Bye-bye.